I've talked about leaders of leaders, how they work with individuals, and now I want to talk about leaders of leaders, how they work in society. There's a difference between helping individuals to meet their needs and develop their potential, material and spiritual, on the one hand, and helping society develop effective processes to help people to make a good culture, positive culture, effective culture, where people can easily meet their needs and fulfill their potential, both material and spiritual. So, first of all, what do we mean by society? Society is a collection of individuals, people, who are living together more successfully, more happily, than they would do if they were living separately. Now, three questions come out of that. First is, what do we mean by an individual person? Secondly is, what do we mean by success and happiness? And then third is, what do we mean by society? So first of all, a person. We are fundamentally spiritual beings. The essence of our nature is spirit. We have a body, we have a mind, and that's an essential, they're essential parts of our makeup at the moment. But the essence of our life, of our being, is spiritual. It means the meaning and purpose of life is to realize our spirituality, realize our spiritual nature, our spiritual identity. And society should help us to do that. Society should help us to meet our material needs, to make a, a comfortable platform where we can easily realize our spirituality. What do we mean by spirituality? The Vedic conclusion, and the most logical scientific conclusion also, is that we are essentially conscious spiritual beings. And that the basis of matter, the basis of life, the basis of the laws of matter and the laws of life is a universal conscious spiritual being. And spirituality means to establish our relationship with that universal spiritual being. And society should help us to do that. Society should help us to meet our needs and fulfill our potential, to meet the needs of the body and mind and to help us develop spiritually. And the Vedic literature has described that when society does that, it acts for the good of its members and also acts as a collective entity for the pleasure of the un universal spiritual being. Then everything becomes wonderful, harmonious. Individual people's lives come into harmony. They're very effective, very successful. And society as a whole works in harmony with the natural laws. And then everything, even the weather, the climate, natural resources, everything comes out very, very effectively, very, very beautifully in that case. What do we mean by success and happiness? Success and happiness means simply achieving the four fruits of human life that we've been talking about. Effective, harmonious relationships, success and abundance, peaceful law and order, and spiritual fulfillment. So the purpose of society is that it should work for the good of all of its members. Immediately society works to further the interest of some elite group at the expense of its other members, then the whole purpose of society has become corrupted. 